Okay, for this problem, I have two different trig functions, so I want to use an identity. Now, there is an identity for tangent 2 theta we talked about in that section with double angles and half angles. However, that involves a fraction on top or a fraction on the bottom, and I have all tangents, which are not really going to help me too much uh, in this case because I want to get common denominators. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different identity for tangent 2 theta. The one I want to use is sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta. That would also be equal to uh, tangent 2 theta. Now I have the rest of it here. Now for this one, I'm going to have to get some uh, common denominators here uh, in order to combine this together. So I left the space here because I'm going to have to do uh, common denominators. I want to get both denominators to be cosine 2 theta. So I'll multiply top and bottom by cosine 2 theta. Okay, now I'm going to combine this together as a single fraction. Now they have common denominators. Sine 2 theta minus 2 cosine theta cosine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta here. These two, I can't make that cosine squared because one's theta and one's 2 theta, so that's why I'm not allowed to multiply and make it a square because I don't have like things that I can combine together. Now, once I have this, I can think of this as 0 over 1. I want to do some cross multiplying here on this one. So I'm going to uh, multiply these together. I get sine 2 theta minus 2 cosine theta, cosine theta, and cosine 2 theta. And then if I multiply this diagonal, I get a 0. So now that I have this, I get to a point where I should probably start thinking about putting in some identities for different things. So let's start with an identity for sine of 2 theta. Now sine 2 theta, we only have one identity we can put in, and that's going to be this, 2 sine theta, cosine theta, and then I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and write the rest of it out. I know I, I can put an identity for cosine 2 theta, but let's, let's start with this one first and see if we can do anything as far as simplifying. I notice right here that there's a cosine, a 2 and a cosine that I can pull out of each of those, so that would be a common factor. I'm going to pull out a factor of 2 cosine theta. What I'm left with is just sine theta, and then I have minus cosine 2 theta. So this is what I have left on the inside of the parentheses. So now, I'm at, I'm at another spot where I can't do any more. I could set the first one equal to zero, but I need to also work with this one as well. So for this one, I need to put in another identity for cosine 2 theta. So since I already noticed I have a sine next to it, it would make sense to pick an identity that involves uh, sine. So I'm going to use 1 minus 2 sine squared theta for this one. So 2 cosine theta, sine theta, and I have minus. Okay, so this one's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta I'll have for uh, this one, and that equals 0. So now I have something where I have some like terms on the inside. So that's the next thing I want to do is simplify the inside. So I'm going to do cosine there, and I get sine theta minus 1 plus 2 sine squared theta equals uh, 0. So now I have this. I want, once I have this, I can rearrange these terms, and I have now something that I can do some more factoring with. I get 2 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 1 equals 0. So now I've taken it all the way down into here. So hopefully you're still with me. Okay, so if you're still with me, we take it, we get down to this step here, but unfortunately we're still not done because this part is something else that we can factor one more time. So I want to, I'll come over here and I'll continue the problem on, on this side. I want to factor this part here. So I'm going to do 2 cosine theta and then this is one where this will go into two different sets of uh, parentheses. The sine squared, that I can write that as 2 sine theta and sine theta here, and then this is a 1, so I can put a 1 there and a 1 there. Alright, so now I'm going to make sure I have the correct signs. I want to get a positive sign in the middle, so I'm going to do a plus here and a minus there. That's 2 sine squared plus 2 minus 1, so that gives me that. Now I have three different things that I can set equal to 0 individually, and that's where I'll use my unit circle and my table to finally get the answers. Setting the first one equal to 0, Okay, I get 2 cosine theta equals 0, cosine equals 0. The next one, if I set this one equal to 0, I'll, just, I'll get sine theta equals 1 half, add 1, divide by 2. And then I get a third equation where this, if I set equal to 0, I'll get equal negative 1. Okay, so now I have these three equations that I want to solve by using table and also using the unit circle. First one. 
cosine equals zero. Okay, that's the places where the x value equals zero on the unit circle. That's this point and this point of the unit circle. That's pi over two, or actually I'll use uh, degrees because we're in degrees this time, 90 degrees and 270. So here's two answers I get. I get, I get 90 and 270. That answers the, the first one. So like that, so that's the, that's the first equation I already solved for that. Next, sine theta equals a half. Okay, sine into my table, here's one half. The angle that goes with that is 30 degrees. That's this one right here, 30. If I have another one over here, that's also equal to 30 because sine again is positive in the first and second quadrant. So I get uh, one answer is 30. So theta is 30 degrees. The other one is 180 minus 30, that's 150. That's that one here. So now I get, so that's, that's two more answers. So I have four answers so far. Then I want to look for where sine equals negative one. Okay, that's, you want to look at on the unit circle where uh, you have a negative one. So if, if you have a, either zeros, ones, or negative ones uh, for your trig function, that means they're always going to come on the outside of the circle here. That's why I know to look for the outside one. We don't need to use the table in this case. We'll just look directly at the unit circle itself. Sine theta negative one. All right, so we're looking for where the y value equals negative one. That's this point down here. This point would be zero, one. This point here is zero, positive one. The, the zeros, we use that already on the first equation. This is the only place where the y value is equal to negative one. So that would be uh, 270 degrees. Well, we already have it already as one of our solutions. So we can just write our answer out as four. So if one of your other uh, equations gives you a multi an answer that you already have already, if you already have it, then we don't need to write it twice. So basically, this right here is saying the same thing as that one over there. So therefore, uh, you, your answer would be 30, 90, 150, and 270. We would have only uh, just the four solutions only on this one.